Hey, what's up, it's Schnell, and welcome to a new episode of Vinyl Vinyl Vlog, brought to you by the Patreon today, and this is the banger, in my opinion, of the Patreon order for January, and I meant December, not January, sorry, but... Finally available again. Vital Remains and their legendary de-Christianized double LP listenable records. Uh, limited edition marble vinyl. Probably one of my favorite death metal albums of all time. I'm not even joking. My old band got to play with Vital Remains twice. If you have Icons of Evil, Skeleton Proof Tanks is in the thank you list. Uh, having the lyrics, like, I, I still know every word to this record. I never stopped listening to it from the time I graduated high school to right now. Like, this was, like, the soundtrack to the summer I graduated high school. Yeah. This bad boy, it's 20. <laughs> Now, there's a lot of crazy stories about this record, how the drums are sped up. There's a lot of, like, you know, Glenn Benton on his first Vital Remains record. Like, Glenn, I, I saw them, like, on the Dechristianized tour. He was wearing the Shredder suit, and it was awesome. Was that the first one? I forget. I, I, I've seen Viral Remains a couple times with Glenn. And then a couple times with the bald guy. I don't know his name. I just know him as the bald guy. But I definitely turned down a tryout back in like 2006. I, I just didn't think I was ready for a band like Vital Remains. But then when I saw the guy that they got, I was like, oh, I could have killed him, but it's whatever. Now, just every song on here is legit. So good. Double LP, like I said. I love how you have little pieces of the artwork here. So sick. And like, Be Christianized is a history lesson if you look into it. Super just cool, interesting stuff. But I don't like using the term epic, but some of the guitar work on here is like, epic, melodic even, and then it gets ridiculously brutal. There's some random breakdowns in here, like on uh, Devoured Elysium, where it's just like... Well, like, there's definitely some spin kick for Satan moments on Dechristianized. And it's incredible but ladies and gentlemen we have Tony Lazaro and Dave Suzuki and Suzuki was on bass drums and lead guitar Don't get me wrong, 
Dawn of the Apocalypse is a great record, and I will go over this, obviously, but I had to go over Dechristianize. I've been waiting and waiting. Hell yeah. This came through the Philadelphia USPM PS Hub four times. I still have my tour t-shirt. Yeah, well, it says let the killing begin, but it's from uh, the one tour. But yeah, Dave Suzuki, Glenn Benton, and Tony Ladera. To me, like, that's vital remains, like... Because I, I was a big DSI fan in high school, and like, I remember hearing like Dawn of the Apocalypse, and like, I, I liked it and all, but when my friend was like, yo, you gotta hear the new Vital Remains, and that was the game changer, like, I was just like, so impressed with this record, like, I know it sounds stupid, but like I had just like started smoking, and like we would go on blunt rides for Satan. Like seriously, it would be like, yeah, let's smoke this blunt, just to kill Craig. <laughs> we, we were just savages, but just one of my legit favorite albums of all time. I love how, like I said, each side of the record has a different picture from the cover on the picture. I didn't mean to take the uh, monthly sticker. But I'm going to put Devoured Elysium on. One of my favorite songs on this beast. And I'll show you why it's a double LP as soon as I get back. It's a double LP because the Let the Killing Begin intro, minute and 59 seconds. Dechristianize, 8 minutes and 56 seconds. Infidel, 6 minutes and 18 seconds. Devoured Elysium, 5 minutes and 44 seconds. Savior to None. Failure to all, 6 minutes and 37 seconds. Unleash Hell, 5 minutes and 58 seconds. Rush of Deliverance, that's hurting my teeth. 7 minutes and 8 seconds. At War with God, 7.55. And Entwined by Vengeance, 10 minutes and 1 second. Look at that, the artwork, the music, everything here. Just... The best death metal record of 2003? Yes, I, I would say so. Like, at least in my life, on a personal level, absolutely. Like, this was a daily listen. More than once, too. so good and you gotta and you gotta read the lyrics like seriously I always like these like images too and stuff like they're all demonized and stuff oh shit you ready You got that, there's some Gotham birds right there. But it's done so tastefully. But you see why they toured with the Black Dahlia murder. Yes, that happened. I lived it. I mean, hell. 
My band played a Vital Remains twice. But Glenn wasn't doing vocals on those tours. Which was kind of a bummer. I remember being like, oh man, but... Just... And like, like, this song is so insane. And going right into like... Like, to me, the beginning of this record is so goddamn strong. Like, you don't, like, I used to really, like, only listen to, like, the first five tracks. But I've, the older I've gotten, the more I, I just listen to it front to back. But, like, I, again, I, I'm not sure if the drums really were recorded at regular speed and sped up. I have no idea, and I don't care, because at the end of the day, this is still the record I remember and love, and it's not a nostalgia thing. It's just great, evil as fuck death metal. Ready? I noticed my microphone sucks, but mosh part. And like, I, I've seen people mosh to this. Like, so good, cause like, why? That would wake everybody up, and it was just insane, too, because it's such a good, like, breakdown. But, again, just the songwriting, Glenn's vocals, everything about the Christian eyes. There's that Gothenburg. And the guitar work on here is, like, legitimately insane. He Christianized straight up 10 out of 10. To me, this is. I mean, the drums are not what I would like them to sound like, but I don't. It's such a little. Everything else about this record is so. that it's not that big of a deal to me. It's the evilness that I really, like, just cannot get enough of with this record. And again, the older I get, just the sicker it sounds, honestly. Like, I, they have, like, half their I love my room. And don't worry, I will be going over Age of the Apocalypse, hopefully forever underground as well, but de-Christianize is de-Christianize. Oh shit. See, I, I used to love headbanging to this. Oh, so many just bangers on this record, front to back. I could have swore Olympic Records did the original version of this, but unless Century Media bought them out, that, that I don't know, or, or maybe I'm thinking of, of, of another band, but um, Century Media, I mean, uh, but I had to order this from France. Unless you have an Amazon account, I don't know where else you're going to find this. I, I had to order it from Listenable Records. It wasn't that, it was like 40 some dollars. I know that's kind of a lot, but not really for Dechristianized. Double LP, like, super nice layout. It, it, it's, there's only 500 copies of these worldwide also so 
Yeah, one of the biggest poser disposers ever, but also one of the best gateway death metal records ever. And what I mean by that is, like, seriously, some of the more melodic parts of this record that go right back into the brutality, it's what, like, all these bands today strive for, especially when they go for the more, like, where it's like, whoa, that sounds like a straight-up hardcore breakdown. Like, bands today wish they could make a record like Dechristianize. Like, the fact this is 20 years old now, like, I feel legitimately old. But, it's cool, because, like I said, to me, this record personally means a lot, and just keep killing Christ. Because this will sell out. Like, and don't say I did not warn you. Because if you, and uh, you get these cool, if you order from Listenable, they throw in this, like, Sabbath knockoff. Which didn't make me feel so old, because, like, Sabbath is, like, the guard two, maybe three times displaced from Dechristianized. But I'm glad I got to see Sabbath when I did and stuff. But, anyways, Vital Remains, I will go over Dawn of the Apocalypse, I swear. Like... Killer record, don't get me wrong, it's just de-Christianized. I had to. Because I wanted to kind of go in order, and then, like, re-listening to de-Christianized a couple times, I was like, alright, I have I have to talk about how good this is. Because I don't know when I'm going to be able to do this again, after my dental work. So, thanks for watching, as always, you fucking roll. If you're a Patreon, oh my goodness, thank you so much for making today's video possible. Infernal hails and gratitude. Peace.